Okay, I put the baby cockerel in with the girls here. I'm taking this one day at a time, but at least it eliminates one brooder. So instead of three, I now got two. Hi, babies. Hi, babies. He's under there somewhere. <laughs> They're all doing good. If I go stay underneath there, what? Oh, there he is. I could tell because of his bum. <laughs> That's okay, he's, he's out eating with them. He's the same size. Because I put um, Neosporin on his bum. So he, it looks like he has a bare bum. That's how I can tell who he is at, at, right at this point. So I'm about to catch him again. Probably should have put some more. The only reason I did that is I don't have to, you know, clean his bum so many times. I didn't want it to get sore, chapped. What you doing, baby? What you doing? Huh? A couple of the friendliest ones will be able to stay here on the farm. Yeah. We'll decide that. We got a few months. Yeah, we do. Are you the brave one? Huh? You made it all the way up there already? <laughs> well, at least I did see him come out and eat with one of them, so. But they're doing good. I just keep checking and make sure I keep the, you know, the little lids filled up with food right now. I usually do that until they get, you know, a little bigger. Try to make it as easy as possible. And then the cockerel and pullet I had with him, I put back in here. They weren't gone too long to where, you know, they had to acclimate back in, so. They're all doing good. Who's being a loudmouth underneath there? <laughs> I got him up extra early this morning. I couldn't sleep. Oh, that little one there. Oh, you miss your friend? Huh? Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. Do you miss your friend? You're awful loud for as little as you are. You know that? The two I had with the little one, they finally quieted down some. And look at the mess again. Oh. You know, they just pecked that feed right out into the... <laughs> they got a little bit of wet feed there too. But that dry feed, they just peck it right on out of there. I gotta get to moving on that Chicksville shed. Yeah. Get this mess out of here. It'd be easier to clean in the shed than I could just not worry about the floor and then just sweep it out of the shed into one of those baskets I've got. And I did put the lid on over there because just in case. I mean, they can't jump high enough on this side, so I'm not worried about this side yet. But they get on top of those 
they can jump on top of those waterers and feed her. Um, it's not that much further to the edge of the brooder there. Oh, children. Okay, we're going to transfer the little ones. I put this bigger brooder in here and put both the heat plates in there for them because there's so many of them. There's 26 of them. And then I can check for boogie butts at the same time. No poopy butt. You're good. <laughs> oh, you little squirts you. Uh, no poopy butt, you're good. Uh, no poopy butt, you're good. Uh, uh, nope, you're good. You're good. Okay, I got one here with the poopy butt. Okay, pup, poopy butt claim. Let's get this light on over here too, because I can't see. There. Okay. This one still looks good, but let me check. Uh, did I check this one out? This was the baby from before. Okay. That's the baby one there that was, I don't know what's wrong with it. Uh, uh, you're okay? They are fast when they're little. Ooh. Okay, you're okay. Get one at a time. So I can look at their bum bums really good. You're okay. You're okay. They're right in front of me. Okay, we got a little bit of one here. Let me go clean this one. Okay, you're clean now. <laughs> oh, I think it's three so far. I have poopy butts. Uh, and only two days. Uh, yeah, you got a little bit. Ah, uh, y'all messy. Okay. You're clean now. <sighs> you more gotta go. We're running so fast. Oh, you're good. Oh, you're good. I should have been looking at him. You're good. You're good. Oh, what if I try? What if I try two at a time now? You're good. You're not good. Okay. Let's go do this again. Okay, you're clean now. Can I get two at a time with no poopy butts? You look good. You look good. You look good. 
Well, you sure are fast. As little as you are. Come here. Oh. All right, you look good. You got a little bit on you. Let's go clean it up. Okay, you're clean. You can go. Okay. Come on, the last of you. Been hiding under there. Uh, you're okay. You're okay. Like the last two got to be the fastest. We'll just take one at a time then. Uh, you're okay. And you're okay. Ah, goodness. And there's 26 of them. That's why I put the two brooders or two heat plates in here together in this bigger brooder because they were all crowding underneath one. So now they can split up some. <laughs> you're okay. We got anybody under there? Or y'all? No, oh, there's a couple there. We got the majority of them down there. You gonna be the brave one? Huh? You gonna be a brave one? Yeah. yeah. I'm sorry, okay? I'm sorry. Here, come up here and eat your feed. Come on. See, I slowly do that, and eventually I can get a few of them to let me you know, play around with them. Okay. Now, dirty ones, had your bath. No more poopy butts. You got a lot bigger space. <laughs> and I got to, um, I raised that up a little, and I had an old pillow cloth I don't use. Um, that I just kind of stuck around it because it's metal, and it was outside. It was kind of cold. Um, but that I can just, you know, throw it away or kind of wash it outside at first and then stick it in the um, washing machine, whatever. But they'll grow pretty fast and then I can, you know, raise the rest of their stuff up a little bit more. You all good? You got water. You got feed. You're good. You're good. I'll be back to check on you later. There was my lunch hour. Cleaning poopy butts. See, I gave him a little bit of wet feet over there. That brings him out. I got a little dish over there. It's a long dish for all of them, but that's okay. They keep when they little, but messy, messy. I just cleaned that half out again today. It's like every day, every other day. Depends on how big of a mess they make because I don't want to smell anything. And if I start to smell just the least little bit, it's got to get cleaned out again. I put some shavings on top of the heat plate too. Might be easier to clean it that way. They're all doing good. I just put everything in there, washed everything out, and put everything back in there. And the babies are doing good. They're starting to come out a little bit when I put my finger down. And the baby's still in there somewhere. <laughs> if they would turn around, I'd be able to tell from his bum. And yet, we had a bunch of poopy butts today, didn't we? Sure did. Just what I wanted to do on my lunch break. Clean everybody's poopy butt. The little ones getting along just fine with these little ones, same size as them, so I still don't know why it's not growing or I don't know. 
Maybe it is a bantam. I don't know. Just have to keep an eye and see what. See how he turns out. But the Morans and Blues are, are doing okay. I haven't really figured out the freebie. Because Murray McMurray Hatchery always throws in a freebie. I think it's one of the gray ones. But I'm not. Eh. No, it's kind of hard. Because, you know, white and true blues. There's not one specific color trait of them. You know, they, they're. So it's kind of hard to tell. But I'll, be, I'll, I'll bet anything it's probably going to be a cockerel. I'll be able to tell by the, this weekend I'll probably check some, check them all, just to make sure they're all pullets, except for the, the one baby cockerel that I put in there, and then I need to find that freebie, and if it's a, if I have two cockerels in there, then I'll have found my freebie. <laughs> I give them just a little bit of wet feed as an evening snack, before they go to bed. And everybody's been, believe it or not, they're real quiet at night. I put their little, you know, night light on in there in both their, both these brooders. And so they can still see the water and feeder um, at night. And just in case they want to get up and eat or drink. But it's a low enough, enough light, it doesn't wake me up. <laughs> okay, behave. 